I want to introduce you to something that I think will really excite you. If you've got a Stanley or a record um, rebate plane like this, just a Philister plane, it was once called, or a, it's got different titles, um, you can convert this and make the most amazing plane that will get the bulk of your waste away just like a scrub plane. So it actually becomes a scrub plane. Like I've converted this in the past. It's got a wider radius on it because it's a wide uh, plane blade. But this one is much narrower. It's about a half inch narrower than this one. And it makes an amazing scrub plane. How do we do this? Take these off. We don't need these ever again unless we're going to use the plane for rebating and for scrub work. So if you look in here, let me get the blade. There's my blade and I've got a radius on there that makes this the plane. It, it, it really parallels any scrub plane that I've ever used. It's wonderful. So that's what we're going to do to this. To do that, I've got a couple of plane blades here. This is a brand new one that I bought. This one was a brand new old stock second hand one. You can still get these. You can buy them second hand quite inexpensively. But I bought two planes here. I bought these for about £10 each on eBay. It didn't have any other fittings. It didn't have the fence or anything. So I'm going to make a dedicated scrub. But if you don't want a dedicated scrub, just get a blade and you can convert it yourself. This one's never been touched still got all the authentic rust with it. You don't have to do very much to this, but what you do have to do is create the radius. So let's do that first. I'm just using this can and I'm equidistancing the gap here and the gap on this side and then making a pencil line as a guide for me like this. Now this is a two and a one eighth radius. Okay, so I'm going to grind this. I've got my grinder ready. Safety is your concern as well as mine. Just wear your safety glasses. Make sure you've got all the uh, bells and whistles in place. So I'm going to grind this. Now the reason I'm grinding it instead of filing it is because this is too hard. The steel is too hard to file. So I'm going to take the corners down first. I'm using water in a cup here just to quench cool. You can put this against the rest if you want to. I find it easier this way. Already I've got a radius coming that is going to be exactly what I want. But this radius could be really just about any radius. Once you've got the bulk of the steel down, you can see I've not uh, I'm not following the bevel yet. I'm going to get the rake of the bevel next. Keep quenching every few seconds. And now I'm working on the bulk of the bevel. Like this. So keep quenching until I get the bevel all the way across the arc of the radius that I want. This is to prevent the steel from burning. Once it burns, You've lost the temper in the steel. So keep going, keep going. So you get a nice even arc on your bevel. So it's coming quite nicely. Going all the way up. So this is that 25 to 30 degree bevel that we normally put onto any cutting edge, so it's no different. I'm eyeballing mine. I've done it for so many years and it comes out pretty close. Once we've got this down, we go to the sharpening stones. That could be oil stones or diamonds whatever you have. Little burn there, I'm not going to worry about it. I did burn it because I didn't go to the water soon enough. The good probability is it's not going to be soft, it'll be fine, but we'll see. So there's my main bevel done. 
Um, I feel good about that, so now I'm going to go to my sharpening stone. Just slow this down a little quicker. for what we're probably more familiar with and that is we're going to hone this bevel. I'm going to show you a technique that you may never have seen before, you may have seen it before. I'm going to show you two methods. This is just to get this converted here. So there's my bevel. What I do, I can either roll this this way across the bevel, but I prefer this figure of eight. I start on this corner, push, and I make a figure of eight, and as I'm doing this, I'm rotating the blade, so every edge, it's like a continuous honing of that bevel, and it works great. So that's putting that initial bevel on there, the, 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 cut, the actual cutting edge. And I have gone all the way across corner to corner. Now I'm going on this one, same again. So speed up the process. It's super fast to do this. Now this doesn't have a cap iron like you would have on a conventional bench plane. So what you can do with this, drop it on here. I'm just going straight onto, this is the rust coming off it here now. I'm just going straight onto the flat face to see how it looks. And look at that, it's already gone all the way up to the edge. So I'm happy with that. But if it isn't, you can lift this just a fraction and just follow the radius around this way and that will give you the burr. Can you see? I can see there's a burr here all the way along the edge and when I take that off this blade is ready to cut. So now I install this into the plane and I'm ready to go. Maybe if you like to, which I do, you might want to just use a strop, polish out the bevel a little bit. It's less necessary for a scrub plane, but it just takes so little time. So this has been charged with chromium oxide or aluminum oxide. It's just a buffing compound and abrasive that polish that bevel. Pull and pull and we've got this plane ready to go. Now I'm going to show you how it works. So I've left all the rust on, I've not cleaned this up yet because I want to show you how simple this is and how effective the plane is. So this has never been used in donkey's years. So this little lever in the back here is stiff here, just been rusted in not been used for years. So I'm going to just move this up and down a bit. Drop of oil in here just to free up that movement, hopefully. I don't think I've ever had one as stiff as this one. There we go. Definitely better. I love this. I did this with a plane some time back and I found it was the best scrub plane I think I'd ever used. So, so this really is very reminiscent of the original Stanley scrub plane from, from decades ago, nearly a century ago. Now let's see how this works. I've got a piece of ash here. This is rough sawn. Let's see what we've got. So I've got the blade in, I'm protruding slightly in the middle. Let me get level here. New bench. Let's see what happens here. So never been used before, I never tried it before with this particular plane. So you go diagonally to take off the rough stop. 
then you work along the grain like this. So that's it, that's basically your scrub plane in action. All I've got to do now is clean off the rust, get this ready for other purposes besides scrub planing, and I think you'll enjoy this. It's a great plane to have in your kit. Thank you.